Virgos, welcome guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And today we are going down the rabbit hole with what messages the Spirit have for you, or what messages the Source have for you. I just want to let you guys know it is a true honor being here, giving you these messages in hopes that they fall upon your heart and remind you that you are the ones in control and to re-empower yourself so that you can take back your lives and make the decisions that are best for you on the journey. Also, guys, I appreciate any of my new uh, people coming in. You guys are always welcome. Definitely check out my other videos. And for all of my returning watchers and subscribers, thank you for new subscribers. Thank you, guys. If you guys do want to wish to support the channel, please check out the description box down below. And also keeping in mind that I am not doing any personal readings at this time. Okay, so I'm going to do these readings just a tad bit different than normal. But let's see what's going on, Virgo. My other half. <laughs> Love me a Virgo. You guys are my opposite on the zodiac wheel. So let's see what's going on for Virgo, Source. What messages do you have for Virgo? How can we help them out? we help out Virgo? What do they need to know at this time? What is going on with Virgo? How can we help them outsource? What messages do you have for Virgo? How can we help them out? What do you want to tell Virgo, Source? Okay. What messages do you have for Virgo? All right. See what's coming out guys what's going on for virgo source what do you want to tell virgo thank you okay we have the four of wands in the reverse okay definitely feeling like you're at a stalemate right now virgo what's going on okay you feel like both of these want to okay you could be dealing with an empress in the reverse it's uh you could be dealing with an aries a taurus or a libra yeah okay intrusive like you're Either you're being impulsive or somebody's being impulsive with an offer that they've given to you and you realize this and you're not really ready to take that on yet. Yeah, there's some kind of a addiction here. This could be a sexual addiction coming through is the first thing that came to my mind. Um, but there's definitely some kind of like not like there's there's no healing here. There needs to be healing before you can come into a union with somebody in a higher spiritual journey and I feel like that's what you're looking for is somebody that's in a spirit like spiritually higher dimension and right now you're dealing with somebody that's still low vibrating and you're worried that you manifest this yeah you're worried that you manifest this so it's just about your perspective I think that you need to we've got the knight of coin on the bottom here in the reverse followed by the hangman followed by the ten of cups in the upright uh, the hangman in the reverse. Yeah, it's just about having a slanted perception on the situation right now. I think that it's you are guarded. I feel like you're very guarded right now. Yeah, you're afraid that they're not going to be able to offer you any kind of stability. And it's okay to be guarded, Virgo. Like, there's definitely, a, uh, you know, I suggest that in any situation, especially after having recovered from any kind of like abusive relationships, but there's going to be something that's shown to you. I think that there's something that's been hidden from you this whole time. And it's just because of your fear of this being more than what it is. You may have a commitment uh, fear and that's okay. Like I'm just saying what's coming out in the cards here, but there's definitely a fear of commitment. And I think that you're afraid that you're just always going to manifest these types of relationships that don't serve you. I feel like you're really afraid that these people are just always going to come in and uh, offer you something so little. And really what they're, they're not, like, it, you're just not changing. Like, you're not changing. You're not seeing the future in this. You're not seeing the hope in this. You're just, you're in a place right now of coming from your hurt. Your fear is leading you interesting we got two cards coming out so we have the ten of cups in the reverse and the wheel of fortune in the upright another 10 so we have 10 10 coming out this uh sun is 19 which is 10 when you break it down yeah so this is about completing a cycle for you like i think this is a cycle led by fear 
right? And it's like you're afraid that the so like your fortune here honestly is going to come from you observing the past. Look at this judgment on the bottom and the upright. <clears throat> yeah, your your judgment is going to become like like that's the thing. Like your fortune will turn, it will turn in your favor, but it comes from you having these broken hearts. Like I know that sounds so weird, but it's not. It's like you you're not in a place where you're always going to manifest these bad relationships. Like you have to trust yourself, but in order to get into a place of trusting yourself, you really have to observe what it is that you've been through in the past. Like it's not a, it's not even about reliving it. It's about acknowledging that it happened to you. And I think that's hard for you. I feel like some of you guys really went through it. You know, I did hear abusive ex. That was one thing that came through right away. So maybe you guys were in a very physically abusive relationship. Um, others of you guys just had narcissistic ex. But whatever it was, it could have been an overbearing mother that was involved. It could have been somebody that just didn't care. It could have been somebody that was just trying to, you know, keep you for their own and control you. And it just like, and you guys are so laid back. Like Virgo, you guys are like so laid back and chill. And the thing is, is that sometimes what happens is, is that it's easy for people to take advantage of you based on that. I know that seems kind of odd, but it's not. It's like they'll take advantage of your good energy because they want to be around that. That's that feel good type energy. You guys definitely admit it's like, you're just so it's either about jokes or just about like, nothing is as it seems. And you're okay with that. Like you're, you embrace that more than anybody. And that's a beautiful place to come from. But I think that sometimes what happens is, is that people will just, they want that. They want to be like that. They want to take that energy from you. And that's you giving your away, away your power without, I don't think you're like meaning to. It's just, again, sometimes we give away our power without realizing what we're doing. And so this is just saying to stand your guard in this situation because there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to heal from. You have to heal from people who are very intrusive. You have to heal from people who are very invasive towards your energy maybe they were being invasive because they thought they were protecting you i feel like this could have been a mother in your life that was very protective of you and it kept you from seeing the world as it is and and so when you get any kind of offers like the first thing you think about is how what would your mom say or you know like well what if i go talk to mom what's going on you know it's a very interesting energy to come through but there's definitely this need for healing and they're saying that you are healing like you are healing, you're you're in the space of healing, but you you're still stuck in this thought process of like looking in the past, thinking that you're not. You think that you're manifesting this over and over again. And source is saying like, you need to give yourself some credit, Virgo. Like, you need to stop being so harsh on yourself because it's like you did deal with some kind of abuse in the past, right? What was I saying? I said that abuse. It's like it's coming through now with this emperor in the reverse, and it has to do with commitments. Didn't I start that off and said I felt like there was a commitment issue here? Like, before I even got to this? Yeah, it has to do with commitments. It's like, so, again, our first commitments come down to our parents, right? And I think we forget that sometimes. And so it's like, looking with the commitment that you had with the parent of the opposite sex, how was that, you know? It's like, were they committed to seeing you through to the best possible you? Or were they judgmental? Were they abusive, you know? And those, that's where you'll find most of your healing at. And I think that's where you're going to see the completion of this cycle come to its end. You're going to realize, oh, wow, like there, I don't know why I was so concerned about all that. I don't know why I was fighting all that this whole time. Like my whole, my, the whole time my fortune was turning, I was just so scared. I was so scared to embrace it. Yeah, look, happiness. We have 42 dolphin happiness. Like your happiness is coming. Okay, but happiness is cultivated from within. It's like finding that from within so that you can see it without. And it's not going to be something that lasts 100% of the time, right? I think people always think, oh, well, once you're happy, you'll always be happy. Like, no, it takes work to maintain happiness. And that's what you want to really manifest is happiness. Of course, with this judgment card here, you want to trust the process that the divine is walking behind you in faith and goodwill. And it's like, but you still get stuck in these moments where you're human and you experience those past relationships all over again. And that's what makes you feel like you're on the downfall. And it's like, just remember that 
the more you focus on the bad, the worse things get. The more you focus on the good, the better things get, right? Then we have truth, number 44. Yeah, so coming back to this mother energy that I was feeling here, it's like I feel like this is somebody that lied a lot to you, and I think that you knew intuitively, but nobody's ever said, oh, yeah, that person sure, sure right out lied, and maybe for some of you they have. But I think that that's the thing. It's like just being aware and using your discernment here and listening truthfully to the things that people are telling you. Not the words they're using, but what they're really telling you, like the deep down underneath meaning that's coming through when they're telling you. You know when you pay attention to people what's coming out. But it's like you have a new offer that's coming in. You just have to be willing to take it. It's not immature. Like I think you think it's immature. It's not. It could be from a Capricorn. It could be from a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Leo. Um, let's see what else we got here. We've got Scorpio energy, Gemini energy. Yeah. So I mean, you guys are you guys are going to receive this new offer, and it's going to be something a lot better for you. But it's I feel like they're also going to help trigger this release for you. This this need to always feel like you need to go over here and consider whatever this person from the past was doing or whatever it is that they brought. Yeah, movement, river, right? So it's like scary because you don't know what's up around the bin. You're like, what's going on? I don't, I don't see what's up around the bin. Let me just pull off here. Maybe I'll just stay here until something comes to me, you know? And it's like, no, you just have to keep flowing with the river. Like that's part of this journey. It's just constantly flowing. See, what was I saying about this person? Like, we have icebergs submerged. I feel like for so long, you only saw 10% of this person. Look at how these two cards are mirroring each other. You have the browns, the dark colors here, and then you have the blues here. Like, they are mirroring each other here. I had no idea it was going to work out that way. It's just neat that it worked out that way. Telling you you need to ground yourself and find your truth, okay? But when you see an iceberg, you only see 10% of the iceberg. There's 90% down below the surface. And that's where this truth card comes into play here. It's like, you just need to look deeper beyond the surface. Don't just see things at surface value anymore. Like we're done. We're beyond that. Okay, Virgo. Like we're now coming into a space where you need to look at the hidden depths of a person and you have the ability to do that, right? You guys have the ability to look into the soul. Yeah, this is your completion. Once you do that, you're going to complete this cycle. Again, 10, that's that 10 number here coming through. It's like this is completing the cycle, and your cycle will come to a completion through the heartbreak that you've experienced. And I know that might not be something you want to experience, but at the same time, it's something that you need to experience because that's where you're going to find your greatest strength at. Ask for help. Number 14, which is five again. It says, ask for help. What do you really need? And be willing to accept support. Stop trying to be the savior here. Like, it's okay to ask somebody, what do I do? What do I need to, you know, like, what should I do next? Can you be the person that's listening to me on the, on the journey here? I feel like your guys' reading was really short, and I apologize for that. I was not meaning to. It's just really straightforward. Really straightforward energy here. It's like you're, you're in this energy of just being, like, let me do all the work and maybe one day I'll meet somebody that's like me. No, like you have to be willing to receive. And the only time that somebody like you is going to come is if you're actually open to receiving, right? The dance unveiling number 36, which again is nine. Don't worry. I've got more for you guys. It's not going to end here, but sometimes it's, I guess it's good to have short readings. I don't know. It just depends. It depends on the reading. Sometimes they go for a really long time, and then sometimes it's like sources like this. Is what I want to say right here, right here, right. So there's a situation in your life right now that is about to reveal itself to you with greater clarity. Just like sand shifting, the picture will seem clearer and quite different to how it once appeared to you. The clarity will bring you great relief and confirmation of your intuition. Be patient and allow the revelation to come to you at the perfect time. Often we think we know is only a small part of the bigger picture. With some in more information, what we think is the truth can shift, sometimes dramatically, and reveal a completely different reality. Sometimes we can really imagine a situation, person, or place to be all that we think or feel it is, only to find that it is not quite that way after all. Uh, there is an important situation in your life right now that is still unfolding, and you have yet to s perceive it fully. 
It is safe for you to be patient and curious and trust what you feel is unfolding now. Don't rush to set things in motion, to form a structure, or even make things concrete until you've had a chance to be clear about the situation or this process. There will be a time in the near future when you will realize that the graceful cosmic dance of Kuan Yin has, un has unfolded and a veil has been lifted. And at that time you will realize that you've seen much more clearly and accurately than you have previously been able to do so. Yeah, so just allow this situation to unfold. Like I said, I feel like you don't want to go back into the past to see what your past is. But this has to do with you. I mean, this has to do with your perception on the situation. It's just, you're seeing it from a slanted perception. You're seeing, you know, this is like not being able to deal with self. This is like, this is not taking that creative notion for yourself, like not feeling worthy of it. And you're fighting it. And so it's just like, again, when you change your belief system on who you are and how you feel about yourself, you're going to begin to see things unfold differently. And you're going to see that your Ten of Cups was never really in the reverse. It just felt like it for some time. And look, we have the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Coins underneath that as well. You're going to be manifesting like nobody's business here, right? But your manifestation is just being blocked right now because you're not feeling worthy of what it is that you want. And you're just trying... You're trying to save everybody else before you save yourself. And I think that's just putting you in a very awkward position. Like, honestly. Okay, I feel like that one looks come too. Yeah, upon a breakthrough. This one's come out all day. I think everybody's kind of in the same weird spot right now. Like, we're all learning so much. We're all learning uh, so much about one and where we're at on this journey. And, and I think that's the thing, like, Source is saying, like, you're about to get over this hurdle that's been here for a long time walk with nature this will help keep you grounded and it will help you ask for help too this is where you can ask your guides and source for help your angels your guardian angels whatever it is that you believe in your ancestors this is where you can ask them for help and then be willing to receive that this is thinking about you every day okay so there's somebody here that cares about you deeply like I was saying, like, I think that you're thinking this, this offer doesn't, it's not very much, but I think that's the thing. It's like, they're trying to prove their worth to you. And it's because you don't feel worthy that nothing they do seems to show you. Oh, excuse me. Show you that. So in the past, I think that you've always been with sexually charged connections, right? And that's what you're still afraid of. Like, that's what you're fearing in this. And what did I say when I got this judgment card in the reverse? I heard sexual addiction. So just a confirmation, there was definitely some sexual addiction coming through. And that could be you. Okay, don't be, don't be angry. If it is you, like, just deal with that, right? Like, it's cool. A lot of people have that. I had to deal with that, too, when I first started this journey. It was one of the first things that came up for me. And so it's like, again, it's just dealing with that. Why are we so disconnected from our root chakra? And it's like, again, the sexually charged connection, that's what brings us into a grounded state, making us feel more stable, wanted and whole, the right to belong, right? And so it's just like overcoming that and realizing that you already do belong. So stop kidding yourself. Yeah, like, <laughs> so I think this is in confirmation to what I just said. Like, you're probably over there like, Becky, that's not, that has nothing to do with me. That's not me. And I'm not saying you're, you're like that or anything, but I just, I feel the resistance from some of you guys. And so it's just like, Source is just, this, this, when I channeled this, like, I remember, it was just like, Source was like, wanting a way to just be like, no, look, what she's saying is real. Like, it was just really weird when it came through. I stopped and I looked up and I was like, you really want me to write that? And they were like, yeah, you need to write that. And I was like, okay. Because I think that's a thing, like, you know, I'm all about healing. The readings I do, I try to focus on healing, whether that's the past, the present, or healing for the future. You know, I'm not about the predictions. Like, I don't really like doing the prediction readings. I like using the cards to read your energy to heal yourself. And I think that that really gets people sometimes because so many card readers are predictive readers. And so that's why when this came out, I was like, no, source like needed something like, no, like you do things the way you do because people need to heal. They don't need to be the future predicted for them. They need to heal. They need to overcome things that are plaguing them, that are blocking them from receiving my blessings. And that's why I had a huge conversation with Source about this one. Like it was, so <laughs> story time it says fighting is causing you stress. Yeah. So I think that whoever this person is in the past that you're only seeing 10% of using that discernment, 
like definitely causing you stress. I think you're aware of the situation, what's going on. And I think that you just have to use your discernment to overcome that. But I also feel like you're fighting yourself. I feel like in this, like there's still again, that resistance coming through. And I think that you fighting the fact that maybe there's a part of you that you don't like, that is a huge red flag on this journey in unconditional love. That is saying that you do not accept yourself, even the quote unquote bad parts that you might have. Like part of unconditional love is truly coming from a place of seeing that maybe I do have a sexual addiction, but that's okay. Like I don't have to hate myself because of that. It's just something like, what does that stem from? And then show that part of yourself love. Just be like, I am worthy of love. I am worthy of belonging. I do have a right to be here. And then why are you refusing to create? And that goes hand in hand. It was so funny because I was trying to say that, but I could not get it out. It goes hand in hand with this uh, knight of coin in the reverse. It's just like the refusal to do what's right for you, right? It's like trying to fit into the bubble and trying to do what everybody else is doing and not doing what's right for you. And it's like, you need to create your own journey. Like your journey is unique to you and that's what's going to make it so beautiful. And even if you don't know where to start, like starting somewhere can have such a profound effect on the outcome. It's like, at least you started and source is going to come in and help guide you the rest of the way. I think oftentimes we just get so scared that we're not doing the right thing or that maybe we took a wrong turn or something that it's like, what is it? The fear of what could happen is causing nothing to happen. Like that's that energy. And really at the end of the day, it's like you're your own worst enemy when you do things like that, because it's like, of course, nothing's going to happen if you don't do anything. Right. Of course, nothing's going to happen because you're going to stay stagnant and it's in that stagnancy that you're you begin to really get stuck in these thought processes that make you feel like you're not worthy of the love that you desire right and you are you are worthy of the love that you desire you're worthy of having what it is that you want in your life okay you've gotten you've come so far and you're about to complete this cycle don't hold yourself back just because of that little bit of fear that's still there right you're about to overcome something that's huge that's been holding you back i feel like for a very long time and that's that's so good like it's like you're manifesting a new beginning but you have to allow yourself to release what's no longer serving you and i think that that's been hard for you all along you know you guys like stability you're the virgins of the zodiac so you like things to be a certain way which is fine but you have to be reliable for yourself if you're not reliable for yourself, you can't ask others to come up and show up and be reliable for you, right? Like, you just can't. It's not, like, it just doesn't make any sense, right? So, this is what I have for you guys. I really hope that this helps you on your journey. And just know that I'm sending you guys out so much light and love. You're so worthy of the things that you desire in this life. And until next time, I will see you guys. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And as always, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love until we meet each other again. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.